All right, tonight residents of a North County neighborhood told 10 News they are upset and concerned after learning that this sexually violent predator is their newest neighbor. Now, since our story aired tonight at 6, management at Woods Valley Campground told 10 News their attorneys are now working on a solution to fix this problem. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips is in Valley Center tonight with what residents are threatening to do if Mark Pliska doesn't leave. Residents here in this Valley Center family vacation park say Mark Pliska has been living in his RV here in Space 41 for the past three weeks. Wasn't until this morning, though, when the Sheriff's Department showed up with these and handed them out around the neighborhood that they learned about his sexually violent past. Woods Valley Campground is a peaceful, wooded environment surrounded by trees and the sounds of nature. People bring their families here, kids, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. People pay to come here for their vacations. Around the beginning of February, this RV popped up, and this man, 58-year-old Mark Pliska, moved in. Has anybody seen him? No. He, since he's moved in, he's nobody's. I've only seen him come in and go straight into his trailer. Mark Pliska is a sexually violent predator, convicted of molesting numerous young boys back in the early 80s. He spent several years in state prison and four years in the Atascadero State Mental Hospital. He's not restricted on where he moves. He can come and go from any city in the county or area in the county. He can move out of the county, he can move out of the country if he likes. Campground management tells 10 News Pliska divulged his past when his residency application was granted a few weeks back, but decided not to tell residents about it until after the sheriff's department showed up Friday morning. Of all places to allow someone to live, I can't think of anything more inappropriate. Several residents tell 10 News Pliska's living here is now hurting business for the campground and say if Pliska doesn't pack up his belongings and move out, they'll be forced to find another place to live. Preston Phillips, 10 News. We're told the Sheriff's Department handed out sex offender community notification flyers to 110 homes and two schools up to a half mile away. Deputies say Pliska is current with his 290 registration and his compliance is being monitored by a county probation officer.